family-owned pet shop is lending a helping hand to those who have been affected by the recent fires. Felice Ortiz is live at Paratopia with how you can get your parrot needs taken care of. Yes, you know, Code, this is what I love when we have these difficult things that are happening around in our region. And then you have small businesses, family-owned businesses like this that really go step up to the plate and go above and beyond to help those in need. And that's what's happening here at Paratopia, as you had, as you mentioned. This is Gina and Cheddar. <laughs> I walked in, I said, you got a little something on your shoulder there. This is Cheddar who's visiting, but you were offering those who are displaced by the fire to bring their pets in on here. The birds, the birds, that yeah. is correct. Uh, when you're planning a vacation, you, you plan on, you know, the boarding costs of birds. So we're offering, for those that are being affected by the wildfires, they can bring in their pet parrot. Mm -hmm. We can board them at no cost. Yeah. And you're offering the cage. You've got cages and food and water and all the fun stuff, all toys. I am telling you, you can see she's got all kinds of birds around here. And they are literally living their best life. She hand feeds some of them as well. You've got some veggies over there. I had no idea they liked their veggies too. Oh, they love their vegetables. <laughs> they love their fruit. And we get, we make sure that they have plenty of it mm -hmm. at all times. That is so fantastic. You actually said that you have one right now that you're caring for. That is correct. Uh, they got displaced by the Caldor fire a couple mm -hmm. of days ago. Uh -huh. Um, two of them can stay with her aunt. This one does not like anybody, so he came to us. Mm -hmm. And he's actually in the back, shying away from everybody right now. <laughs> including the camera. <laughs> including the camera. But yeah, so we do have one right now. And we do this often when there's local fires, when people are being displaced. Right, because as you mentioned, you know, people literally may only have a moment's notice to get out and may not be able to gather all that they may be able to get the bird, but maybe not all the things that need to care for it. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why we're here. We're here yeah. to help out people. Um, it's just, it's, it's something that we love. We love our parrots. Yeah. We, you know, we do everything parrot here. Mm -hmm. Both my husband and I, we spend seven days a week down here. Yeah. So does our two and a half year old. Our little toddler runs around <laughs> here all the time. And as you can tell, the birds absolutely just love hanging out with us. Yeah, but we do, too. we take them in. It doesn't cost the owners anything to come and bring their birds if they're displaced. Yeah. Um, because not all hotels are going to let you bring your, your parrot right. to a Very hotel. Sure. Sure. So, uh, do you hear? Someone's whistling over here. Someone's whistling at you, Scott. Who's used that whistling? <laughs> uh, that would probably be Enzo. <laughs> Enzo's my lower kid over here. He's a black cap lorry. He's a crack up. He loves to whistle and talk. <laughs> Little and flirt. And <laughs> okay, so I right, a little flirt. Okay, you have a few <laughs> that are able to just kind of hang out, on, you know, out in the open. That is correct. They love to hang out on their stands and get a lot of attention. They like to meet new people. We've got Benny, he's a mealy Amazon, and we've got Polly, a red front to macaw. They're both looking for home, mm -hmm. but they're getting some out of cage time, and we try to rotate out all yeah. of our birds that have that. And Cheddar's just visiting today. Cheddar is just visiting today. As you can see, she doesn't like my mask. <laughs> She's like, take it off. <laughs> she does. She does. Oh my gosh. I've known this bird since she was a baby. So. Oh my gosh, I love it. And look, I love the coloring. Isn't that beautiful? Clearly, that's why her name is Cheddar. Right. All right, Gina, thank you so much. So kind of you to, to, to offer that for those who may be displaced by the wildfires. Again, we've got all of her information on our website. If you do know someone who might be able to use her services, we've got that on our website, goodaysacramento.com. Back over to you. How awesome is she to offer those services? Yeah. I love that. That's really cool. Fantastic. Right? Although, your husband wants to talk to that parrot that keeps whistling at you. Mm -hmm. He's like, hey, hey, that's my lady. <laughs> Back off. <her. laughs>